Kai, welcome to Click Geek. So in this session, we're going to see the first sorted value function. It's been a very good function to pick up uh, scenarios like which product is not performing well or uh, uh, which perform which product or which country is doing well in terms of the sales. So uh, based on a particular dimension or based on a particular uh, expression. So this is very much handy to do such kind of things. Whereas people sometimes go for work around using the same kind of expression and uh, some kind of dimension in a stride table and uh, knocking it to hide some the, the expression and showing only dimension values, applying dimension limits over it, those kind of things. But we have a stride away function which could uh, pick up uh, a value, I mean, a pick up uh, a dimension uh, text or a dimension so based on a certain expression. So let's quickly jump into the click view and then see how it works. So I have a table which consists of country, city, company, and the unit sold as a measure. Now, what I'm, uh, what is the scenario is here, uh, we're gonna extract the company name uh, which has highest sales value uh, in, in the, in, in this unit so on. So now, so based on the measure, we can say which company is performing good or which is in the first position in the sales. So, so what usually people are trying to do is that going to the dimension limit and putting uh, the risk, enabling it and uh, taking the first value, the largest value, okay? Then here you get it. Somehow they erase these, uh, I mean, uh, the headers, the title bar and then this uh, the expression value and showing the form so there is other way around with the first sorted value of function okay so i'm just going to turn off the dimensional limits okay then apply so that we'll get the list so how can we do that so and this also can be done uh, in the text object so where in which there is no dimension is available, uh, I mean dimension field is available to add in the uh, text objects. Let's go and see the text objects equals to first sorted value. And then the first matter is which uh, dimension uh, text you want to be highlighted. So in, in, my, in this case, so we're going to be listing the company which is performing well. Okay, so on based on an aggregate function. So an aggregate function is must to uh, list all the values in the table, and so that the first sorted value of so the first sorted value function will pick up the first value uh, which is being sorted. So we know that HGR function will create a virtual table behind the screen. So let's create HGR, and then sum of units sold. So I'm going to do uh, the grouping by company so that I could get the company name the table So now the HGR function is going to create a virtual table In a particular order and the come and the first order will be picking up company name from the table Okay, let's apply now see what had happened. So it is resulting a Suzu, but here the value is Ford So when you coming down the VA there you can find the Isuzu so the values, is, I mean, the, the virtual table, uh, which is being, uh, uh, I mean, which is a resultant of HGR is sorting the values in an ascending order. So the first value is the lesser values in the first position. Now, if we want to make it in a descending order, just have to add minus just in front of the HGR function, right? Now press apply, then you get four here. So what this minus is doing is it is just sorting the values which are in virtual table which is being created by HGR function in descending order. So the first value would be the, the highest value and the dimension which is assigned to that value is four. So and this text object is displaying that. So this is how you can get the highest selling product or highest selling company or lowest selling product or lowest selling company through first sorted value. And this first sorted value is very much handy in chart as well. You can use the chart, I mean, first sorted value in the charts as well. 
okay so that's all for this session thanks for watching the video please subscribe